Hey everybody, it's Carla Riv. Welcome to Happy Life Food Forest. Today I want to talk to you about something that I think is so cool. Um, anybody who knows me uh, knows that I have trouble in uh, growing root vegetables. Radishes. I'm trying this year. I keep saying, my problem is I add too many nutrients. I, I can't seem to help myself. And you just get a bunch of leaves. And it's not that I don't use the leaves, because I do. <laughs> but still, I, I just add too many nutrients. We just can't help ourselves on that. Um, this year we're trying, we're trying to grow some with less nutrients and not add fertilizer. This year, we're trying not to add compost tea and, and we're not using um, compost in the mixture. So we're gonna see, we might get some, some radishes this year. But just in case, I found the coolest thing. Mr. Riv loves his radishes. He loves them in his salads. He just loves to just sit and eat radishes. And I was at the flea market one day and I've seen uh, East, I've bought from them before at Palafox Market, East Hill Edible Gardening. And she had this plant and I'm like, I have to try it. It's an aerial radish. It's a plant, it's called Dragon's Tail Radish. And it grows above the ground and it makes these little bean pod like things. Um, it's in the same family as cabbages and horseradish and radishes. It's in the same family that brassica see. I'll put that up on the, for y'all to figure out how to say it yourself. Brassica sea, brassica sea. It's in that same family with all those brassicas. And, uh, but it's spicy. It's spicy like a radish and it's so good. I only tried it one tiny little piece and it had a big punch to it. It's gonna be awesome addition to uh, salads. A lot of people, when they get bigger, they stir fry them, but I'm gonna pickle them. And we like everything pickled and um, especially my other half, he truly loves everything pickled. So I have a bunch of cauliflower that I haven't cooked yet and I'm gonna pickle that and I'm gonna put some of these uh, radishes in that jar with them. So let me show you this amazing plant. It's awesome. <laughs> if nothing else, it is one of the most unique, coolest plants that I have. Now it's getting to the point that I need to put either another steak or a tomato cage or something around it. But I just love this shape so much. I have it staked right there. But it truly looks like a dragon tail. And these flowers, they're not active right now, but the bees and the pollinators, they love these things. They are absolutely gorgeous flowers. Ooh, a bee's mad at me. He's buzzing my head. Okay. So here's your flower. Let me go in just a little more. So here is the gorgeous flower. And right here, let me put my little snipper down. When the flower falls off, it starts making, let me put my hand behind it, it might be easier to visualize. It starts making these teeny tiny pods. You know, even at this size, they have a punch. That still has the flower attached to them, but even at that size, they have a punch. But I've been controlling myself and others and allowing it to get to this bean pod size because I wanted to try them when they were actually big. And I want Mr. Riv to try one when it's actually big. So we haven't tried them at this size, but um, 
these biggest ones, I'm going to pickle them. But this guy right here. Radishes are sometimes spicy for me, but we have to give it a try. <laughs> This is good. It is milder than when it was little. Now, when I get up close to the stem, it starts getting spicier, but that other end, it was fairly like a mild radish. Woo. The end next to the stem, that packs a punch. But, wow, that's good. Let's get one for him to try. Okay. Wait. Okay. His hands are dirty. He's outside working in the yard. Try just that end. Good. A little bit. Mm. Tastes like radish. Yeah, but it's not too strong, is it? No. Not okay. at all. Try it a little further down. More radishy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It got you, didn't it? Yeah. <coughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <sighs> I said it was spicy closer to the end. Yeah, it's an unexpected punch at the end, but it's delicious. <laughs> it's a delicious unexpected punch. I highly, if you like radishes in your salad, um, this is from the radish family. And it's an Asian heirloom. And if you let it go from seed, it should grow true from seed. But it's an awesome find for people who have trouble with root vegetables, which um, I just, I'm gonna keep trying. I try different locations, shadiness, um, all kinds of different things. And uh, I'll get a couple of teeny tiny little things. Now I did get some fairly um, at bigger than a normal radish on the daikon. <laughs> well, you know daikons are supposed to be at least a foot long. So it's like, um, I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna have to add less nutrients to my soil. So I'm gonna pick these guys and show you what I'm gonna do with them because uh, isn't this gorgeous? Look how it just drapes out, just curling. All these vines, they're just gorgeous. The way they curl and these flowers that the bees are mad at me because I'm at their plant right now. That one, it did swoop my head. Um, so I'm going to snip these so they can go back to pollinating them. And uh, I'm going to show you what we're going to do with them after I eat this last little piece. I don't want to get the big ones, the little ones. I don't want to get the little ones. This little guy right here, in size comparison to the others, this is even bigger than what we tasted the first time around. Uh, all we did was just taste one teeny tiny one, but I just want to see how spicy these are. You'll have to forgive me sweating, but <laughs> I want to see if these, if I remember correctly. Oh, it's beautiful and a mild spice, just slightly spicy when you first start eating it. And then in the back of your throat, it just, it just attacks. So <laughs> it's good and it's spicy, but um, it starts out mild and then that flavor just grows in your mouth. Really tasty.
Santo. I'm gonna go ahead and take him. And the tails are going all over here to the to the little baby pear we grew from the suckle pear we grew from seed. more wow I will be planting more of these but yeah that leaves us some that are growing okay now these leaves you can also eat the leaves I haven't tried one yet. I don't know how spicy they are, but you can eat the leaves from these guys. I guess I'll give it a try since I'm telling you about it. Sorry guys. It's like 90% humidity out here today. <laughs> it's been supposed to rain for three days. All right, let's give this a shot here. tastes a little bit like a mustard leaf and it's in the same family as the mustards but the leaf is not spicy like these guys the leaf is actually very tasty but um i'm probably not going to eat the leaves because i want these guys but um let me go show you what i'm going to put this in i have one jar of cauliflower that i'm pickling with a jalapeno that i cut in half and took all the seeds out of because uh I don't want it that spicy. And then I have oh, bug. And then I have one jar that I'm gonna put these guys in. <laughs> and we'll see who wins. <laughs> All right. I put those guys in there with my leftover cauliflower florets and my leftover the last of my dill flowers from last year and there's the beautiful dragon's tail radish wrapped around in there which is going to be so good pickled all right guys i hope you got some good information from this and uh, i hope that if you have trouble with root vegetables like i do and you love radishes you give these guys a try but also, if you just love radishes and you love that flavor, you need to give these uh, dragon tail radishes that grow above the ground, and I will be planting more of them from seed, um, that, that you give them a shot because they're really good. They pack a punch, they're delicious, and radishes make us happy. So I hope you plant what makes you happy. And I hope you enjoy some dragon's tail radish. All right, guys, y'all have a wonderful day. Bye.